So here we are in level 10. This is the gas chamber. And uh, well, as you can see, we are in the middle of um, quite a mess here. So not only do we have a lot of guys to deal with, but we have, well, we're dying. Uh, every two seconds we lose 2% um, health. So we gotta kinda move. So uh, first things first, we got our silver key and let's go out here. Around, around. And it's the kind of map that, um, you know, it makes you um, kind of panic <laughs> at first, but um, it's not such a, it's not so bad once you do it a few times, but here we go. Let's start things off with some mutants. Oh, there's one more off to the right. Where are you? There you are. Okay, so here, um, I like to use the MG42 because uh, it's got a nice little spread to it for guys um, in the distance. Uh, it's good and strong. And it's kind of hard to tell if we're killing guys at the moment, but I think we got them all. So we'll turn around. I like to stand here so that the guys over there can't hit us. And uh, here they are. So yes, we got to keep an eye on our health. Uh, it's a little habit we got to get into because, well, we don't usually have to do that. But here's, uh, there are three secrets. Here's one. And on the other side, the two ammo rooms have our secrets. So we'll push this one here. And there's a one up inside, so we'll save that for later. I'll just stick one of those. And we're going to go... You can't go back to the starting area. That door locks behind you. So open this up. And now we're going to have these guys. And what I like to do is... Um, we'll get rid of him. This room has some uh, health in it, so as we lead them over here, we can pick them off as they come around the corner. Just be careful of the chain gun, dude. And it's a lot easier to handle them this way instead of just standing here trying to take them on. So we'll just collect a little health, and inside here, we'll have a flamethrower guy. He's kind of... Um, Kind of a useless enemy. I, I don't see why he's here because he can't. He doesn't do anything. He just walks back and forth like an idiot. So, uh, okay, go in here, and we'll have another flamethrower guy. He's kind of useless too. He just kind of dances back and forth. I mean, what else is he gonna do? I guess stuck in a cloud of nonsense. So get rid of him and him. And same deal on this side. We got. Um, we can just go like this. And then as they come over, we just pick them right off. Everything's easier when the enemy works for you instead of uh, you trying to work with them. So we'll just go in here, get some health, and again with another flamethrower guy. See, he just, uh, he's, just, uh, he's just there. <laughs> I don't know. But anyhow, we have our third secret. And we grab our elevator key from that. So grab Uber Armor, Uberlicious. Oh, and there's also um, ammo, uh, an ammo room here. And the other side has one as well. And uh, yeah, we can just head on out here. And um, guys are going to come out. They are some mutants. So again, I like to kind of stand so that the guys on the other side can't hit us. And just quickly get rid of them. There's four on each side, so we just jump to the other side. Let's collect a med kit here. And we got guys. And there's that one. And there should be one more before we take on the boss. Maybe. Maybe. Nope, oh, okay, cool. We got the boss. So let's grab that one up. It's right here. And more Uber armor. So uh, I like to use this. Good old Scabsy Poo. And his, um, he's just, he takes a lot of hits. He's not difficult, he's just quick. And um, as you can see, he, he's got a big old chain gun in his chest. And throws those, those filthy syringes. But uh, and he goes down pretty easy. There he is. Okay, that's the end of him. 
Not a bad level, not, um, but yeah, it has that whole panicky kind of feel to it when you first jump into it. But, um, just collect stuff. And the elevator leading out does have plenty of health, so I'm not too, not too concerned about it. Okay, um, that was where he came out of. There's nothing in here. Here it is, all right, floor 10, all done. You escaped from Shubs' mutant gas. You dash into the elevator, slam the door shut, and press the switch. No wonder the mutants are still being created. You thought you killed Dr. Shubs back at Hullhammer, but he cheated death by injecting himself with an enhanced mix of his own mutant formula, turning him into that monstrosity. Let's hope he stays dead this time, but now his formula has been developed into a gas. If the Nazis use it in a large-scale bomb or missile attack, the Allies could be destroyed by their own soldiers, turning into mutants. The hunt for Narben Narbenkasikt. That's why it's imperative that you escape from Kessel Totenkopf, not just for your own life, but for the free world. Someone has to do something about the Nazis' weapon of mass mutation. But first, it's time to find the Chief Interrogation Officer, Captain Narbenkasik. You are going to make sure that sadistic bastard gets his comeuppance for what he's done to you and so many other prisoners of this castle.